Hello my soccer universe. Well, time for the weekly review video that with some luck we'll post um, come Wednesday. Let's see how it will go. Um, yeah, I'm wearing my Zamdoria kit. I watched a lot of Serie A and I think for the first time I have a real reason this season to wear it, to honor them. It's a lovely kit, Zamdoria kit. I mean, especially with this part here. Sampdoria kits are some of the best kits out there, so um, of most unique, special kits out there. So it's one of definitely my favorites that I have. Just don't get to wear it. Um, as you will see, I watched a lot of Serie A this weekend, so this is where I will put my focus. Although the big games were in um, Spain, so one of them, the other one, I just decided no, I'm not gonna watch it. It's too late. Uh, had a busy Monday morning, so that did not happen. Uh, I also have to have to say before I go into Saturday games, I think I enjoyed on Sunday. My two favorite teams were playing back to back, which is never something I really like because I know I cannot be all full happy, and I was not full happy because it was all <laughs> both results. Uh, one was disappointing, the other one, uh, yeah, gotta say I have to be happy the way it went on the other side. Ah, there was a win in there too. Both of them did not win. We'll talk about it when we get there. But we'll start out as we usually do in La Liga, where on Friday evening Alaves be, uh, and Leganes split the points. I actually I had it on but was not focused at all on that one. <laughs> uh, I was editing uh, the Champions League video, I think, while watching this, or the Europa League video when, when I was watching this. Uh, Granada Levante is a 1 2, so Granada is slowly, slowly, slowly regressing to the mean. Real Sociedad Barcelona, I saw that one. Ah, that was a really enjoyable match to watch and for the first time I saw that the rest of that is really a side worth watching. Uh, they controlled Barcelona for a good 35 to 40 minutes. Uh, Barcelona did not know what to do. Um, I regret it honestly that Barcelona was playing in their um, turquoise awake hits. I understand uh, it gave contrast but given with the blue and white I think one of the yellow ones would have done much better uh, uh, playing their personal opinion. Um, Reasas that got a penalty pulling short I think it is you cannot complain about that one uh, and took the lead from, from, from that and probably they should have added a second but then uh, the ball a brilliant pass to um, uh, Griezmann once again who comes over the left you know when he comes over, over, over the left he's actually quite dangerous and lobs the ball over the goalkeeper <sighs> does not celebrate I hate this I'm starting to hate this how many times has he been playing at Real Sociedad since coming uh, since leaving countless times you can celebrate nowadays but this uh, uh, no I don't want to be offensive you're anyway the uh, the butt of uh, their cheers and, and and so on so don't don't just celebrate be happy that you scored um I it's the same thing as you know because you got whistled and so we we age is the other thing there is a player that played for you yes the way he left was was not pretty but he gave you one, another year I'm talking now about his athletic move why do we need to get so upset with a player leaving why why we are it is now normal it used to be that they yes this is my team blah 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 Ugh, just bugs me but yeah he makes the goal it's 1-1 and so it stays at the half and you have to, had to say this was a lucky 1-1 and it gets even worse for Real Sociedad uh, because with probably his only real uh, action of the game Messi, so Messi gets nicely played free uh, and you can see Messi has the ball and the goal is there and there's only one defender here yeah, that's danger plays the ball over Suarez makes it 2-1 for Barcelona and you think yeah Barcelona is pulling out a win from nowhere, um, but yeah, then Ter Stegen spills a ball, uh, I think about 10 minutes later or so, uh, where, yeah, uh, it, uh, he doesn't look lucky, lucky but the, ball, the but there was clearly a deflection, and so um, was it Isaac who was standing there uh, very free and could just net it in. 
2-2. Uh, Barcelona late had a claim for a, for a penalty on a short pull. Uh, given the first one, I think they have a point. On the other side, both are fouling. So maybe it was the correct call to, uh, to not give a penalty there. And the game ends in a 2-2 draw. Just looking up another... Uh, yeah, Isaac in the 60 sec. Second, so the goals were Oyar Sabal in the 12th penalty, Griezmann 38th, Suarez 49th, and Isak in the 62nd. Athletic Club A bar ends goalless. Then Atletico Madrid uh, also soon a 2 0. Took a while for Atletico Madrid to get going, but in the end, uh, they get the goals. And I have to say, the second one was a beautiful full one through Niguez. That was really, really, really well played. Then uh, Getafe beats uh, Real Madrid 2 0, Celta, Real Madrid 2 2. Espanyol Betis 2 2, Espanyol making points. A severe, uh, a kind of shocking home defeat to Villarreal. They were to, uh, behind twice. Uh, you know, we said a few weeks ago that Sevilla might be the second or third best team in Spain, or maybe even the best team, and now they are again dropping points left and right. Dropping points is also what almost happened to Real Madrid. That's a game I wanted to watch, but I just wouldn't have been reasonable to do so, let's put it that way. Um, it was for a long time a tense affair. Um, again, uh, Real Madrid is another outing for those mint green jerseys, and I. <sighs> I think mint green I can accept for Barcelona, but for almost any other team I cannot. Barcelona has been using it, so I understand this is one of their um, official away colors. But for Real Madrid, I mean, you have so many variations. The best one is the black, and then maybe some light blue or purple or whatever, but not mint. Not mint green. Uh, it kind of bugged me from the get go uh, because. I understand they couldn't use any of the other jerseys there. But Valencia um, took actually control of the game and had chances. And finally, they found the breakthrough late in the 78th through Soler, uh, where you think this was the winner. They have a chance to make it 2-0. Nope. Does not go in. And then in deep into stoppage time, uh, corner kick comes in, Courtois is out there. Courtois gets the header. Is actually saved quite well by the reserve goal goalkeeper but then um complete mess clearing the ball falls to Monsema. it's one one and so ahead of the classico the two teams draw points but remain tied i again barcelona has some resilience of um not uh becoming second at the t at, at the point even though they don't play great Sevilla and Getafe around of the Champions League spot and the Europa League spots I think at the moment it's Atletico Madrid Real Sociedad Atletic Club and Valencia in there and that basically rounds out the teams that are running for the European spots. We have a deep midfield and then when we look into relegation slowly, yeah uh I would say it's also pretty well defined with Eibar, Mallorca, Celta Vigo for the last spot in Lega and Espanyol at the moment don't look really good. No? Let's see how it goes. Um, Premier League. We had uh, the first game was Liverpool Watford, and I actually now I understand why because Liverpool had the, has all the travel going on, blah blah blah. You saw me what to watch video. Um, had some trouble uh, with Wat Watford, who with better finishing could have maybe taken uh, one or two goal lead. I mean, there was a glorious chance uh, late in the second half that Saar just pushed. You, you saw why Watford is last in the table, and you also saw why Liverpool is first, because they have Mohamed Salah this time, and he made two beautiful goals. Uh, the first one, a nice run and then a curling shot into the corner of the net. Um, Mane should have gotten one that was rolled up by an offside like that another thing that starts really bugging me uh I bugged me for a whole lot and then uh in the 9 90th uh Salah scores another great one i mean origi again botches the spot as uh, the botches the shot uh, but it goes right in to to Salah who back heels it in the internet really nicely done i have to say chelsea loses to bournemouth through another really really weird goal uh the game was headed for a draw um, and then Gosling with the back uh, with with his back to the 
goal kind of lobs it over. Uh, it was well, it wasn't really a shot in, in in a way, but it goes in. Uh, at first, it's not ruled a goal, but then goal and technology and so on uh, says it's clearly in. The 84th Bournemouth pulls out a shock win for Chelsea. Chelsea two losses in 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 a row. Uh, Burnley beats Newcastle. Uh, Leicester City also drops points. Uh, their streak ends. Vardy thought he got his next goal, but nope, it was an own goal. Uh, Norwich got the lead uh, through Puki and then uh, the own goal for Leicester, and they cannot find the winner. Uh, Sheffield United 2 0 over Aston Villa, and West Ham wins at Southampton. Um, if I wouldn't have gotten my West Ham shirt out for the washing video, probably would have won West Ham now, but mm, nah. Manchester United Everton only ends in a 1 1, and uh, it was a late equalizer for Manchester United. Through Green was 77th, the uh, lead was uh, through Lindelof. I think there was a foul on the keeper before. It was kind of un un unlucky, but United is also uh, against the big teams, they play well. And then uh, at Everton, you need to win, and you don't get get, get done. Um, yeah, I know another team that might do similar stuff. Wolves Tottenham was a very open game, uh, from what I I could tell. But Spurs get the win out of the Lucas Moura um, gets the early lead. Traore equalizes when it was well deserved for him, but then stoppage time for Tottenham gets the winner for uh, Spurs. And Arsenal City was as I expected. I actually, when I said I will be a massacre, hopefully in my uh, preview video, I regretted that almost immediately. Uh, because I have sympathies for Arsenal, but it's just this Arsenal is a mockery of what I think of Arsenal, to be honest. Um, the, it was the De Bruyne show. In the third, second minute, wonderful goal that he made, 1-0. Uh, he uh, kind of sets up Sterling for the 2-0, makes the 3-0 himself. Um, De Bruyne can be so much fun to watch. And on Monday late, we got Crystal Palace, Brighton 1-1. One, one. So in the table, we have now Liverpool a 10-point lead over Leicester and still a 14-point lead over City. Chelsea rounds out the top four. Then let's see who is in European contention. Um, yeah. I mean, those four that I said are probably the Champions League spots for now. Although Chelsea is dropping, Tottenham is moving up and United a little, little bit down. Sheffield United is still in their Wolves, in their Palace. I don't dare to say, but even Arsenal and Newcastle are not really out of it. Uh, I mean, Burnley, it's really, really tight. I mean, it's almost a nice slide to the relegation zone, but uh, it's the relegation zone, I think, is well, well defined with Aston Villa, Southampton, Norwich, and Watford. I think those three of those four will go down. Everton kind of is a little bit relieving himself. Same thing as West Ham. Uh, I barely watched Bundesliga uh, and a little bit regretted that I sneer, sneer a little bit at Hoffenheim Augsburg, which was a 4 2 win. Um, so, yeah, and there were things hap happening at Bundesliga, just um, decided not to this weekend because there was not the big clashes. Current Leverkusen 2 0. That's a surprise to me. I uh, want to make made me happy. Dortmund gets an easy win at Mainz. I saw the 1 0 of Bremen against Bayern, which was a wonderful shot by Rajitsa. Bayern then turns around 2 1 at the half. They didn't watch more anymore. And it ends 6 1. I mean, to utter destruction of Bremen. That used to be a very good matchup. Now it's a blah. Hertha gets a win over Freiburg and Union plays 1 1 in Paderborn. Leipzig 3 0, Düsseldorf. Uh, that was to be expected. And then the big one, Wolfsburg beating. Mönchen Gladbach 2-1. Um, I think the Wolfsburg took a very early lead uh, through Schlag and immediately Gladbach equalized through Embolo and then in stoppage time Arnold uh, gets the win. And Schalke Frankfurt was not so much the result, the talking point, but a horror foul of Nübel. Um, on Frankfurt, which really uh, reminded me of uh, what Tony Schumacher did in 1982 in the World Cup semi-final. That was a very well-deserved red card, and the funny, funny thing is I watched from the game maybe five minutes and I saw exactly that red card. Uh, ugly, ugly, ugly. He will be out for, for a while, and this will not be good for Schalke. So, uh, with all these results, we have now Leipzig is on top ahead of Gladbach, 33-31, and Dortmund is in there, 29, Schalke uh, also 20, uh, 28, and Bayern 27. Freiburg and Leverkusen kind of losing a little bit touch, same as Wolfsburg. Uh, 
Ähm, Hoffenheim, Union, Augsburg abroad, midfield, uh, even Frankfurt, they are really low down there. Um, I think relegation stone SARS really with Hertha, Mainz, Bremen, Düsseldorf, Köln, Paderborn, Köln, Paderborn, unfortunately don't look really good. Now let's talk about the league where I watched uh, quite some. I didn't see Brescia's 3-0 win over Lecce, although I hope it seems that Brescia is making their way out of the uh, really relegation zone slowly. Napoli, new coach, new jerseys. I don't understand why they need... I mean the black jerseys make more sense than the green ones than they have, but uh, it still was not. Uh, it's not my favorite Napoli. Play at home in your blue jerseys, even though this season they don't look much like Napoli. Parma actually took an uh, early lead uh, uh, and Napoli had their work cut out. I mean, I followed the game slightly, but uh, Milik in the 64th gets the equalizer and then they really try to get the winner, but from one of those attacks, a counterattack comes where Javinho initializes it and uh, finishes it, makes it 2-1 for Parma. And then uh, I did not say it in the what to watch, but that was actually big match of the Genoa Derby, uh, Derby della Lanterna is probably one of the most uh, revered derbies in Italy. Uh, many say it's the best because it's not, it still has the old feeling to it. And I have to say the Marassi Stadium is one of the nicer ones in Italy. It was for the first time, most of the time, all Sampdoria. Um, Genoa took a while to make it even. Second half was, but it was kind of also, it was a real derby. It was hard to officiate and uh, they had the right referee there, I have to say. Um, the two teams went at each other. Uh, it, it also reeked of relegation battle, I have to say. Uh, it went then back and forth without any huge chances, but in the end it is Gabbiadina. Uh, in the 85th, who gets the goal for Sampdoria away and the big derby winner hands I'm wearing, finally, Sampdoria. Hellas Verona, Turin, I didn't see that 3-3, but the uh, next three I saw a lot, and, but my focus was on Milan Sassuolo, where Milan, a goal got ruled out. I mean, Sassuolo had their chances. I was a little bit sad that they had to play in blue, because I think their white jerseys would have really looked well, but I know with the pants, there would be pants clash, blah, blah, blah. Milan had a goal ruled out. Milan created chances. Uh, multiple, multiple, multiple chances. Yes, Sassuolo also had an on the back, especially Benacer at the beginning of the second half made me a little bit nervous. But that is a game that Milan should have won. On the more or less 120th anniversary, which was on Monday, uh, you roll out all the stars and so on, then you cannot beat Sassuolo. It's just, yeah, the anniversary jerseys. Yes, I probably should make a video about some newly released jerseys during this uh, season. I have to say I'm not that big of a fan. I think that the gold, the sponsor I don't like on there and then all the gold uh, around was not that, uh, especially the crest monochromatic, I don't like. I like the current jersey better. It looks more or less the same. I do like the touches with the 120 and the golden devil on the back and the uh, in, in inscription, but yeah. So this ends a uh, nil-nil. Uh, Bologna-Atalanta was a surprise result where Bologna uh, got a 2-0 lead over Atalanta. Well, they played Champions League. Uh, so Palacio and Poli 12th and 53rd. Uh, Malinowski pulls on back but cannot find the equalizer. And Ronaldo puts Juve He's scoring for Juve. He scores two goals uh, in the ninth and the 37th. Bonucci adds one more and uh, only a stoppage time in the second half. Udine pulls one back. Roma turns the game around against Spal. They were one nil down at the half, but then um, made it count. Tom Tomovic with a uh, own goal. Perotti with a penalty. Mkhitaryan make it 3-1. And Fiorentina Inter, another one where Borja Valero gets uh, the early goal he played for Fiorentina Sovia. Uh -huh. uh, Inter had the chances to get the win there, uh, however, they cannot convert. And then Fiorentina gets back in the game and in stoppage time, Vlahovic with a wonderful goal. Wonderful run, wonderful goal, makes it 1 1. And I think the point for Fiorentina was deserved. Really fun was watching Cagliari against Lazio uh, Monday night. Cagliari taking the lead through Simeone uh, with one of those shots where you, at first you don't know how it went in or how is it possible that this is such a, a laser 
uh, out of short distance uh, to make it 1-0 for Cagliari. Cagliari controlling game and actually having chances, especially in the second half, then when Lazio is coming and really tries to overwhelm uh, Cagliari, they launch counter-attacks where they are 2-1, two 3-2 to one, uh, three to two situations where you just have to make the goal. There's always a foot in there, there's always a save or a bad shot. Calgary cannot find it. And then in stoppage time, Luis Alberto gets the equalizer. But it even gets worse because suddenly uh, Lazio feels, yeah, maybe we can get the win. And they do through Caicedo in the 98th minute. Gutting loss for Calgary. Absolutely gutting loss because now uh, they cannot make it into the top four again. So the top four in in Italy are now Inter, thanks to goal difference over Juve. Lazio is now fairly safe in third place and it looks like a three-horse race. Roma is in the gallery only now with 29 points, Atalanta 28. That is basically it, I think, because Parma 24, Napoli 21, Milan 21, yeah. Um, <laughs> Relegation zone, yeah, maybe with Sassuolo, Lecce, Sampdoria, Udinese, it's pressure again as well, that are clearly in there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's getting a long video. Uh, League uh, did not see much, just, uh, just the results. Lille Montpellier 2 1, Metz Marseille 1 1, Toulouse Reims 0 1, Angers, Monaco 0 0, Brest, Nice 0 0, Amiens, Dijon 1 1, Nîmes, Nantes 0 1. Bordeaux, Strasbourg 0 1, Lyon, Rennes 0 1, and Saint Etienne, PSG 0 4. Did not, I mean, Marseille dropped points, but in the end it stays now. PSG way ahead, Marseille, Lille, Rennes is uh, top 4, Nantes is also come coming up as is Reims. Uh, Lyon actually lost Memphis Depay for the rest of the season, he might even miss the Euros, which is also the good news for the uh, Dutch national team. Liga Nosh, I th also was a game that I saw but did not really comment, I think, too much on it. It was Benfica's 4 0 win over Family Cow. Family Cow now is also coming back to the roost. Uh, we had Sporting getting a win at Santa Clara and FC Porto also. So those three are now top uh, with Benfica enjoying a four point lead. Russia did not play. Um, in the Eredivisie, a big result. Uh, first of all, Feyenoord beats PSV. 3-1, which uh, led to Mark von Bommel uh, being sacked. And then Alkmaar beats Ajax very late in a game that I thought Ajax had most of the control, but Ajax lost now twice in the league and in the Champions League. They had a week of horror. And now uh, the two are equal on the table. 41-41, Willem Dway is uh, third. And PSV is only fourth, so 10 points off the pace. Um, in I think we talked about uh, the uh, Ukrainian Premier League very quickly. Uh, Shakhtar wins, Dynamo Kiev wins, and Alexandria wins. So it, nothing really changes on top of the table, despite it seeming uh, leaping all the top teams playing each other. Uh, we can go straight to Austria, where I think there was the biggest result was the last one between Lask and Sturm Graz. Sturm took. A 3-0 lead within 24 minutes, uh, sloppy defending by Lask. Yes, they had a huge chance to equalize when it was 0-1. They had most of the game and they get themselves back in game because Sturm scores an own goal. And then right before the half, uh, Lask even gets a very messy 2-3 second goal. Second half, it's all Lask. Um, a Sturm player is sent off. And I have to say, this was the second yellow card. Both yellow cards were kind of, yeah, all right. But to be sensed, it's enough for two fouls. Like, it was a little bit weird. The last game gets a penalty. Sturm also got a penalty. Um, and makes it 3-3. And then there's another Sturm player sent, sent, sent off. Uh, and then I really thought, well, you got to get that win. They did not. They uh, free kick hits the bar. It ends 3-3. Fortunately, Salzburg also gets a very late equalizer. They were 2-0 down in Hartberg. Play only 2-2. Two, two. Um, Wolfsburg only plays 1-1 one, one at Austria Wien, which basically Austria Wien's chances are very, very slim. Uh, repeat with a 3-0 uh, win, which is... Uh, they will move up in the table and then Mattersburg in the... Uh, 
relegation duel of wins away to Tirol. So in the table, Salzburg and Lask, two points apart, still the class of the league. Rapid now is in third, Wolfsburg in fourth. And um, Sturm and Hartberg around out the top six who make it into the Champions League round. Um, and yeah, that ends my weekend watching soccer. It was a long video now. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you watched. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you thought about the games that I watched or that you watched. It's all a uh, com communication. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.